había tenido alquilado y todo. ¿Cuánto tiempo lo habías alquilado? Neki ya. Que deje. Uh -huh. Sí. ¿Ah? Sí. Hello. How is everyone? No teacher, we're not. Good evening. Good evening, Jose. How's it going? Good, good. I see we have a, a new student. I don't know who it is, the new student, but it's 913434963. Yeah, maybe he has a, or she has a, a connection with the telephone. Maybe, but it's very strange, the number 913. What happened, Norma? <laughs> okay, we're going to put this. Okay, so today we're going to begin um, talking about feelings. Everybody should be complete with lessons one, two, and three. I know that some of you uh, still haven't finished the lesson three, the idea of the exam. But remember that it's necessary for you to complete the exam and to do all of the work in the platform. Uh, Selena, you okay? Yes, I'm okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, good. We just, we hear a lot of noise. I say, hey, if something happened, we hear. Ah, excuse me. <laughs> no problem. Excuse me. No. It's okay, Celine. Just making sure. Well, that's my cable. Ah, yes, it happens sometimes. Or with the cell phone. When you have the phone, you try to get, ah, and it falls. The what? The What's your name? Yes, nine one three four. What's your name? Okay, nine one, we can't hear you. Are you okay? Well, okay, so maybe 91 disappeared, we'll see. Today we're gonna begin, uh, like I said, the first thing is we're talking about feelings in lesson four is describing feelings and gestures. Now, in Spanish, we have many gestures, which is physical, and many feelings which are emotionals. We have gestures like to come here, we have gestures like go away, we have gestures for when we point, at different things. These are all different types of gestures that we have. Now, what I want you to do is with your partners, think about how many feelings you can come up with. How many feelings can you think of? Uh, Madeline, can you give me an example of a feeling? Um, um, happy or? Yeah. Yes, excellent. Excellent, Madeline. Now, happy is a feeling. Does anyone know a synonym for happy? Synonyms are words that are the same. Joy. Joy, very good, very good. That's another word, excellent. Okay, so 
question came. So when we want to expand our vocabulary, we use vengan. Vengan. When we want to expand our vocabulary, what we want to do is we want to use synonyms. So if we want to say mad, we say angry, we try to use the same words, okay? We, we want to use different words. Scary. Okay. Scary? Scary, okay. I feel, I feel scary. I feel scared. Or afraid. Or afraid, very good, Mary. So this is what we're going to do. In this moment, first, I'm going to give you an example. Elizabeth, I'm going to put you on silence because we hear many people in, in your house, okay? But don't worry, when you want to talk, okay. you, you, you talk. Let me check. Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do is here, we have many different things are the thesaurus. The thesaurus is synonyms and antonyms. These are the idea of thesaurus. I don't know what is the thesaurus. Thesaurus is the idea when it's a synonym. That means two words that are the same. For example, happy and joy, angry and mad. These are when we use a thesaurus. Is for words that we have for synonyms. Okay. Okay. And the I need to make a sentence about... No. No sentence. This. In this moment, we're Different to, words. Yes, we're going to think of... The idea first is the synonyms. We're going to think of words that are describing emotions. Because if you can see today's unit, lesson four... Emotion. Is okay. emotion. Happy, describing. sad. So with your partners... The first thing we're going to do is create and think of how many vocabulary right. do you know for the different words. It's okay for everyone? Yes. Uh, what do you say? Thes thes thesaurus? What? The name is thesaurus. 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 Uh -huh. that, that, that word means is synonyms and antonyms? That, that is the book that they use for synonyms and ah, antonyms. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So okay. The, f okay. the first, before we begin, the idea is how many words do you know for feelings, for emotions? Okay. Okay? All right. Okay. Emotions. Yes. For feelings or emotions. So let's make some groups. Friendly? No, it's emotion. Friendly? Teacher friendly is like a emotion? No. No, 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 friendly is not an emotion. Hello, how are you? Jose, Anna, you okay? Hi, teacher. Hello. <clears throat> uh, well, I am trying to to find some synonyms in the in the link that, that you send. Look, the link is to help you, right? But in, in this moment, the idea is how many words do you know for feelings? <clears throat> you, you and Anna, you, you say the feeling and Anna say if she knows or doesn't know or if Anna knows another synonym or an antonym. Okay. Oh, okay. So as an example with Anna, I say happy. And Anna says, oh, 
Just happy is like joy. Or, or I say, uh, uh, angry. And Anna says, yes, angry is like mad. If she, if she knows, she helps me with another example. If not, give a different emotion. The idea is how many emotions? Okay. Okay? Okay, so you try. Hey, David. Hey, David. Uh, not, not very good, no. Sorry, sorry, now? Yes, now yes. Ah, okay, thanks. Okay. Hey, David, no partner, what happened? No. I don't know, but <laughs> I only. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, let me put you to another group then, David, because I don't okay. know what happened. I don't know what happened okay. with your partner. Okay. For instance, resentful shape. I don't know what means. Exerce, exercise, fierce, There are many words for handle. Yes. Oh, shape is like annoyed. No. It's almost the same meaning. Noise. Very low. In, uh, so, harmonious. What, what so, word? The, the first, the idea is first, what words do you know? Not look for words. What words do you and your partner know? Which, which words do you know to describe feelings and emotions? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, and then, it, then you can look for synonyms or antonyms. After. Uh, but first, what words do you know? Okay. Uh, okay. okay. The next word is... <coughs> Why? Joy. Desert, desert. Ah. No, uh -huh. Which word is it? Emotion. Ah, when you, when you wow. were talking about the treasures, 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 I, <laughs> I forgot the word. Ah. Okay. Teacher, we okay. need to make different emotions. You need, no, we need what? to we need to write different. We need to write different emotions. Link for the exercise. No. No, no. In this no. moment, the, you need you need to say different emotions. The idea is with your partners, how many emotions do you know? Which emotions do you know? Ah, I know. I know sad, happy, oh, happy. Uh, happy. Oh, with your partner, with your hungry, partner, you think of the different hungry, emotions. Hungry, ugly, ugly is not nice emotion.
-hmm. Where you where you work? I work in American Park. Ah, okay. Yes. It's close where to Where do you live? I live in Urdes. Ah, no, it's near. Years, yes. Very so good. Close. Yes. The traffic is no problem. Okay, now everybody has an idea of some emotions. We, everybody knows some, maybe not all, but we know many emotions. Here is a list of other emotions. If you don't know, you can look for it, but this is to help you with your vocabulary. Not all of them you use. Some of them are normal, like angry. Some of them are not normal. For example, like uh, awkward is different depending on the emotions. With our partners in different groups, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about and answer the questions about our feelings. Okay. We're going to see the different times that we get angry or we get mad or the things that bother us. This is the idea. Now, in the link, is in the link can you read the questions? I don't see. It's in the chat. In the chat, you can check the links. You should have two links. One link okay. for the examples. Are you annoyed when your partner, husband, or wife with someone else? Correct. This first you discuss. Else. So the idea is you're going to discuss with your partners these questions. Okay. If you don't know, then we can look up some of those words. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right, let's try. He said this voice in my head due to join the conversation. What is your name, teacher? Edwin. My Hi. name is Edwin. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, teacher. Nice to meet you. Hi, Elizabeth. This is the group. Hi, Anna. It's How are good. you? I am fine. And you? Fine. It's Not yes. Yeah, yes. I think yes. Uh, in my case, yes, I I'm very hungry. No, very angry. Angry. Very furious. A angry. 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 Thank you. When when your husband uh, speaks with another another people lady yes. another lady yes always ah, but okay. <laughs> but but he never try <laughs> the, the the pueblo I don't know the, the people. people yes um, they just wanted to uh, stole the money for the people work and they become rich and you become uh, angry when the politician make a promise and they can't. yeah and angry but most of all maybe i feel disappointed because sometimes we trust 
in some people that we think they they work well for the people and they didn't and they wrote are you annoyed when your partner husband or wife there's someone else here so i don't know what it's Yeah. Flirt, Gerardo. Flirt. Flirt. The meaning flirt is like, uh, like, oh, you are pretty, you are cute. The, the boy or the girl try to conquer the other. This is flirt. It's okay, flirt or no? In my case, I'm, I'm annoyed. Ah, flirt with someone else. Okay. I annoy when your partner, husband, or wife flirt with someone else. Do you understand flirt? Uh, yes, it, when the when the person see the other person and cross the, the like uh the, the two persons like uh, 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 like uh, if, uh like like boyfriend and girlfriend they want to be boyfriend and girlfriend yeah. Irrespect or ir, uh, irrespect or uh, someone like when the, the person don't rest, no respect the other person. Okay. In the relationship. Yes, correct, correct. Yeah, the, the waiter uh, ignores me or when the restaurant is not, it, it's not like kind. The, the last weekend I, I went to Komasawa and we asked, can we pay with, with credit cards or with cards? And they said, yes. So we uh, asked for uh, a drinks and we want to pay. But we, we paid, uh, the check was for $14 and the minimum with, for paid with credit cards was $20. So I, I, I exactly, it's like, what? But you, 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 you didn't you. tell me. You didn't tell me that the mean. <laughs> Did you get angry when the policians may the policians okay. may promise they can't keep this to continue to the laws? Policians, polician is like a police. No, uh, well, I don't know. Elizabeth, try to stay oh, in no English. No, no, try to stay in English, Elizabeth, no Spanish. Politicians, for example, mm -hmm. Norman Quijano, Nayib Bukele, uh, Sanchez Seren, these are politicians. Ah, I remember that. I... Okay. Yes. <laughs> but you try but only in English, Elizabeth, only in English. English. They can't keep, okay, the promise, the promise, or promise, the promise, they can't keep. Did you get angry when you watch the news or TV and see all the terrible things happening in the world? That's it, annoy it. Is it the same in the first? Es molesto. Ah, no, no. Okay. O te molesta. Okay. When stop assistance try to sell you things you don't need, usually, yes. Yes. Yeah. That's true. 
the next yes. two. Does next it, two. Um, does does it, it annoy, annoy you? Annoy you when someone interrupt you when you are speaking? Yeah. In my case. In, um, in my case. No, really. I try. It's the pen. It's the pen. Yes. It's the okay. Pen. Okay. Okay. Next. Does it annoy when you someone know? When you someone know, you someone know everything better than you. That and you so. and say. That you and say so. And say so. Um, yes, yeah, because um, I accept another person knows more than me. When another person is intelligent, that you know <laughs> that. Yes, yeah, but. Hello, teacher. Hello, Senina. What happened? Um, David, um, it's out for a few minutes. Ah, okay. Okay. Well, then you and I practice, Selena. Uh, how do you say? The, you and I practice. Ah, okay. Please. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the the next. You ask. Let's. Okay. Let's, I ask you the, the question. Okay. Okay. The, Does it annoy you when someone interrupts you when you are speaking? Um. Not really. Is it normal to for someone to interrupt you? In this in this country. The culture and uh, the people always interrupt when you speaking. Don't respect your for you to express your opinion. Oh, okay. When when some someone not respect my opinion, yes, I'm angry. Okay. But if they interrupt you, no problem. No, no problem. Okay. Sorry, Selena. Hi. No problem, David. No problem, David. Selena and okay. I practice. In, is no problem. <laughs> Thank now you. Now you, Selena, you continue practicing. Okay. Does it annoy okay. you when you are waiting in a long week and someone push in front of you? Uh, is in my case, uh, only, only that uh, I can see, but I, I am in my cell phone. Are you worried your cell phone? No, no. I, I work my computer. Ah, okay. Uh, your cell phone is intelligent. My cell phone is oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's like a me. Oh. <laughs> me my too. cell phone is <laughs> no, your cell phone is in more intelligent than me. Uh, a little okay. intelligent. <laughs> no, okay. not so much. That I believe. Uh, let me see. That, Anna, that, only that, you and right. me. Okay. Anna? You you and only you and only you and me. We are still no. The, no. The, no. In this moment is a room, a small room. But in oh, oh okay. Okay. Okay, so now we have an idea for the lesson. The lesson is 4.0. The idea is feelings and emotions. For feelings and emotions, we learn 
we can describe many different ways. We can describe positive, we can describe negative. Is we decide what we want. Okay? So if you want to be positive, you have many options. You can say, oh, uh, he is nice, or uh, sorry, the adjective here, the emotions like happy, excited, okay? Things like that. Those are different adjectives we can describe. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to make sure if, that all of them are okay. Are there any questions? No. Use our chat to clear the information. Okay. Anyone else? Anybody questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to look at body language. Hang on. Okay. In body language is what you do, what you do with your hands, with your face, with the different things. This is the body language. In a subtle look, it's common for the body language. When we go like this, we move our head, it's for yes. When we go like this, the idea is no. So it's not, it's the same in English. It's not only the words. It's also what you do with your hands, what you do with your fingers, what you do with your tongue. All of those things are the body language, and each one represents a different emotion or different feeling. Okay. okay. Can let's see. Can you hear me? Is it okay? Yeah, it, it's but but you you like uh, it's entrecortado or uh -huh. or. or I, think I believe it that my, it was my internet. I think it was my internet, but but maybe not. Yeah, I can hear you well. No, because yeah. just but I hear many noises. That's why I put everybody in silence because hang on. But you boy so is like Okay, let me check. Let me see if I can try. Hang on. Now is correct. I listen. I listen good and tired. For you, for you. <laughs> yeah. Explain <laughs> you. <laughs> es que el teacher hace, hace la interrupción ahí. <laughs> Normal. Hi. I meet you, Norma. <laughs> what? How many students we are? Maybe 15. Still bad, huh? Mm. Okay. Jaime is missing. Elmer is missing. Yes. Mm. Anita, sometimes she connects me. Okay. And, um, Hang on. There. Okay. I, I'm i not sure if this helps. It, it helps. Is it, better? it helps? Yes. Okay. I, okay. I tried to do a little bit better like this then. I speak louder and, and closer to the microphone. Then now we are going to lesson 4.2. Uh, the idea in 4.2 is about body language and modal adverbs. First, we are going to watch the video 4.3, okay? In 4.3, the video is, have you met Raj, okay? Does everybody have the platform? They have open? Yes. I don't know. Where? Not, that is the link for the watch. Listen. Okay. The, watch the video and answer the questions with your partner. So, watch the video.
And then is with our partners, we're going to... Okay. The video is 4.3. 4.3. Let me see. Correct. It's correct. 4.3. Have you met Rush? Yes, Mary. Okay. <coughs> Hi, Elizabeth. Hi. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. What is what is the exercise to do? The three questions in the I, chat. Ah, okay. I'm a chat. Let me check. Okay. No le visto una pregunta. No lo puede esperar. Selena. Hello. Hello, Selena. The, For the question, why do Indians move their head? They move their head side by side when they agree with you. Exactly. With the with the mouth. Or eyes, right? Or <laughs> or, or or maybe moving the head. Yeah. Where, where is Frank? It's over there. It's over there with moving the 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 Maybe head. The, the chick went over there. Oh, the chick exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, look who is there? Where? There. Where? <laughs> the chick. <laughs> the <threat I> mean. <laughs> uh huh. Exactly. Um, what other we move we our do. hands we try to follow the conversation move our shoulder shoulder 
we felt confused. I don't know. Then yeah, but, but I ask think... You, you know, something that we move our shoulder up or down, I don't know. <laughs> but I think that, 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 that is not only used in here in El Salvador. I, think, I don't know, but I, I think maybe, maybe they used it in other countries. Okay. Have you met Wah, the students of India? No, I haven't. Well, he seems very nice, but there is one thing I noticed. He moves his head from side to side when you talk to him, you know, like this. Maybe it means he doesn't understand you. No, I don't think so. Or it could mean he doesn't agree with you. Actually, people from India sometimes move their feet from side to side when they agree with you. Oh, so that's what it means. They head the Indian guys. Side. They move they head from side to side when they are agreeing with you it's the opposite okay like us okay okay and what body language do the salvadorians do Carliche. <laughs> the, the topics i don't know <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of, of, of language. <laughs> I, I think it's whether really another really Raul. Sorry? What? With another. But this is the last question. What body yes. body language? Yes. I think we use the universal body language to when we feel happiness, when we are angry, when we are disgusting or something like that. Okay. I, I know, I think is She is normal because she didn't have pictures. Okay. Now that we have the idea with our groups, uh, let's see if we can answer the questions. Okay. What was number one? Why do you move their heads? To agree. Okay. And which way do they move their heads? Side to side. Correct. It's different than us. It's different than Salvadorians. We go like this yes. is yes. They go like this is yes. They they try to agree. Mm. Num number two, who is talking to Raj? Ron. Repeat. Ron. Yes. Yes. And what about number three? What body language do Salvadorians do? We point with our mouth. Ah, very particular for Salvadorians. Very good, Mary. And Salvadorians, they use their mouth. They go, mm, mm, or their mm -hmm. tongue, right? And they go, oh, mm, yes. in these directions. Yes. Is there, any, is there anything different that we do? 
No. Or what? The Salvadorian, no, the part. people are told caliche. <laughs> ah, yes. But that is not body language. That is the vocabulary. But it's correct. The Salvadorians use a lot of different words, not the correct words. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, we're going to take a moment, and what we want to do is we want to practice the past tense in speaking. Okay? So, what we're going to do is, in our groups, in a small group, we want to practice past tense. But we want to practice the idea with, remember, did, uh, what, where, uh, was, the idea all in the past tense. Okay? So, with our partners, we're going to make, and you're going to ask them questions. What did you do? Where did you go? Uh, did you eat pupusas? Uh, were you at the beach? All of the questions in the past and all of the answers in the past. It's okay for everyone? Okay. 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 Let's see. Let me make some. I think we lost one person, but we're going to make different groups that we would try different people. So remember, in the past tense, it's important the question did. Did is to indicate the past tense. Did were no. The past tense. Did the past tense. Did you eat? Did you go? Where did you go? What did you do? These are the past tense. We need to make any any sentence about questions, questions, past tense. and answers. Past tense. Yes. Hello, Norma. Hello, Gerardo. We talk okay. about the past tense question. Okay. Uh, For me, did you go by a gift for your wife? Uh, repeat, please. Repeat, please. The, the... Did you buy a gift for your wife? Ah, Norma, I, I, I hear you. Yeah. I think the, the, the audio, the audio is so bad. I don't understand. Did you buy a gift for your wife? Gerardo, did you buy a gift for your wife? The audio. Uh, I bought a gift for my wife last year. I bought uh, flowers and chocolate. Oh, okay. Did you buy a gift? Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. This is the same, the past tense. Say the question, Elizabeth. Uh, did he have a car? Did she? Did she? No, no, but you are asking have Jose. Vacation? You are talking to Jose. Ah, Jose. Yes, you, you okay. have to ask Jose questions. Jose? Mm -hmm. Jose? Yeah. Where did you go the last week? 
Good. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Well, to be honest. Uh, Where did you go the last week? To be honest. Entonces, I, te contestas I, I Elizabeth, was... Elizabeth, no Spanish. No Spanish. To be honest, I ah, didn't yes, yes. go Sorry. to any place. Yes. I forgot it. Home. Oh, oh really? Uh, just uh, on <laughs> okay. the Saturday, I went to with my child, my, with went. my boy, yes. went to the a soccer field. He oh, really? I, I, I finished the career in Politecnica, in the Politecnica. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Anna. Now uh, you ask me. Okay, where did you live? Where did you live when you were a child? Okay, when I was a child, I lived in. in I take advantage, advantage, and I visited before. <laughs> and that is cool. No. Yes, I can hear you. I don't know what happened with your partner, Mary. <laughs> I'm waiting for Mary to answer. We we are talking about our last vacation. That's good. Sorry, sorry. That, no, no problem, Mary. No problem. It happens. It happens. Okay. I I was saying that I the last year I went to to Ilamatepec for the first time. Oh really? Yes, I'm. I'm. I'm from La Unión, but I live right now mm -hmm. in San Salvador. So I, I didn't visit so many places until I live here. So <laughs> when I have the chance, I go make a tourism in my country. That's great. It's good to make tourism in your country. Okay, now it's almost time for us to finish the class, but tomorrow we are going to be looking at modal verbs and adverbs. If you remember before, we talked about adverbs. Adverbs describe the verb. Adverbs give more information of how. As an example, I walk. How do you walk? I walk quickly, I walk slowly. These are the adverbs. Tomorrow in unit 4.4, we're going to look at modals and adverbs. So this means that the idea is now that you have with your partners, we talked about feelings and gestures and the idea about the body language. It's important that you have an idea and you continue working in the platform. The important is to continue in the platform and not fall behind and know, oh, I have to do two, three, four activities. No, try a little bit, a little bit, but every day. Okay. For today, are there any questions for, uh, for body language or for feelings? Remember that the source is for helping you to expand the vocabulary for more synonyms, more antonyms. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, have a good night, and I see you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.